which was strange when you're four. <laughs> and never, ever, ever trust a Kerry man. <laughs> right? So when Bernard said, oh, "That'll be great, crack and fucking, you'll be, you'll be paid and everything, and fucking to me, I'm really, 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 still waiting for the money, like." Because like, like, in the post, it's in the post, Kanye, it's grand, it's grand. So like, and my like, I have to say, my dad, like, in fairness to him, he wasn't far wrong up to now, like, right, up to now. My experience with Kerry men or Kerry people in general has been, you know, there's like about 40 people looking up at me here. Like, very careful. <laughs> has been kind of strange, you know? I mean, I remember I was going to a monster final um, when I was about 11 or 12, and uh, we were in the company of a few Kerry lads, and I, I was big into the gang, and I, I said to one of them, I said, how, how do you think you're going to, you know, being innocent and naive, how, how do you think you're going to do today? You know, we haven't any chance. <laughs> yeah, we're not even training. I tell you, we won't even have 15 on the field. A monster fucking final, like. <laughs> not the fucking hope in hell, can it? We got hammered by 18 pints that day. Like. 18 fucking pints. Pricks. And then, like, recently when the Gooch was on, like, the Gooch is very good, like, but, like, it was, uh, I think it was about four or five years ago, he had another fucking bad hammy or something. And uh, I was out having a pint with another friend of mine who was from Kerry and Cork, and I was, like, hoping to fuck that the Gooch wasn't going to play, like. And I said, like, what's, what's the crack with the Gooch? Is he, uh, is he on? <laughs> What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> that is shit, huh? Whoa. The gooch, anyway, when we get back to the gooch. The gooch had a bit of a hamstring, and I was like, what, what's the story, Kevin? Is he gonna play? Do you think he's gonna, do you think he's gonna get on? Not a fucking chance. <laughs> Both hamstrings are fucked. <laughs> he's after losing the size in his right eye. <laughs> he's fucked. He scored two four against us, lads. <laughs> two fucking four. Yeah, so then I so then I met Noel, right? Who's my girlfriend? Thanks for oh, yeah. 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 And my whole perception changed of Kerry people entirely. I thought you were all lovely. And we were going out for a couple of months and eventually she said, you know, would you like to come down to Kerry and you know, meet meet meet, meet my man? And I was like <laughs> And I was like, um, a bit soon, isn't it? <laughs> and she was like, no, 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 they're, they're, they're trying to meet you, they're trying to meet you. And I was like, grand, yeah, grand. I said, look, to be honest, no, is it okay if we just go down, we just, you know, the first night, it was Holy Thursday, right? <laughs> we'll go down, you know, we'll just fucking hang out in the house, maybe have a glass. Well, that's grand, Connie, that's grand, don't worry all about it. It'll just be me, you, and man. <laughs> and like, I, as I said, fucking my dad, like, I, he was on my shoulder, Killing people for the love of fuck! But she hadn't lied to me yet. Look at her, look, butter wouldn't fucking melt in her mouth. Look. Jesus Christ. So I arrived down anyway, and uh, Anne, in fairness, God bless her, had a beautiful roast beef dinner made, and I was sitting down at the table with a bottle of Corona. I was in the door about five minutes. Now I was nervous, we stopped at Car Sivina and I had two cans. Yeah, so I was a bit pissed. They don't drink much, but I was sitting down anyway, I was about to put the fucking, and I wrote them all down here, right? Elaine, Noel, Alana, Kieran, Sarah, Matthew, Bernard, Magella, Ava, Amber, and Peter! All fucking come into the house! Thirteen fucking people inside the house! Don't trust Kelly people! For fuck's sake! So yeah, that was Noel's promise to me anyway, so the fair play to fair play And like, it wasn't too bad in fairness, because they're all lovely people, and Bernard sitting down there, and Bernard took me out for a pint that night, and everything. And like, you know, and we went down with Noel, and we had a couple of Guinnesses, and that was great, that was great. But like, I suppose, what was the big difference that I found between my family, right, and uh... Chris is telling his life story. <laughs> <laughs> the, big, the big difference that I found between my family and we'd say the Murphys here in, uh, in, in Waterville, right? Is, and everybody comes up to me, I suppose you're going to be telling a fucking story now about this, aren't you? Huh? So, like, you must be careful what you're talking to me, alright, Patrick? 
But the, the biggest, the biggest thing that I, I found to, to be different was how open people in Kerry are. And I actually genuinely, I absolutely love it. I did like, I mean, if they, if like, if you're carrying a pound, they go, right, I feel fat hard, you know. <laughs> Fuck it, have you put on a bit of weight? Not that pet, you you, Jas, that pants. You know, and there's no fucking, you know, <laughs> there's nowhere to hide at all, like. Fucking nowhere, but uh, so this was never more evident with the 13 of the Marauders <laughs> standing around. Matthew, who's too fuck the ball at my head, I was about to take a bite of roast beef. <laughs> Two year old. And then Elaine, who's Noelle's oldest sister, goes, Jesus, Noelle, you're looking great. <laughs> the weight is falling off you. <laughs> 